Well, hello, <clears throat> and welcome to another session of the ongoing campaign, Twilight's Dawn, an adventure tabletop role-playing game featuring Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. I'm your Dungeon Master, Will, and today you will enjoy the role-playing of Abe, the Isomar Blood Hunter, Shane, James, the Warforged Stone Sorcerer, Screw, Sabrina, the Furbog Druid, Ravona, and Victor, the Tiefling Ranger Loyal and his chimp sidekick, Nino. The party is currently exploring a subterranean tunnel network known as the Endless Caves, where they are searching for some rare reagents Ravona needs for her potion-making activities. The caves have ended up being more than they expected, as they have killed a spider herd and its Ettercap Shepherd, and survived the lair of a spider by the name of Jabba Fofi uncovering a lot of dead corpses and a mysterious raven stone. Recently, they escaped from an accidental climb into the lair of an angry cyclops, whose cow cave sheep they managed to set loose, causing pandemonium and threats from below. Exhausted, they sit on top of an underground plateau, contemplating their next move. Session lasts around three hours, give or take, and there will be a short 10 minute break around the halfway point. New episodes are produced each week on Wednesdays at 2 p.m. Central Daylight Time for four weeks straight, and then there's a week's rest. We are currently on the sixth installment of the campaign. We will continue with the story for two more installments before the next break. If you need to catch up on what has happened so far, there are links in the description of this video to our past sessions, and you can check us out at the YouTube channel Twilight Dawn D&D. We do not stream live, live as of this filming, but we plan to do so after the next break, so more details will be forthcoming. Thank you so much for watching. The session will begin shortly.
Got some players uh, with a headset issue. We'll be on shortly. We'll be on shortly. Yeah, we were waiting for you. Okay, it's time to begin our session. We'll try that again. Um, can everybody hear me? Yeah. Yep. Okay, good. Duh. <clears throat> so, a narrow escape. How does one begin to tell the tale of how they narrowly escaped the Cyclops? Who lives to spread such tales? Most of them are liars. Our party here is a notable exception. Having accidentally descended the cliff into the den of such a cyclops, they use quick ingenuity and sure reflexes to escape the impending doom that was shaking the ground towards them. The battle, however, did not come without scars, and the party now sits vulnerable on top of an underground mountain volcano. Sorry, plateau. Volcano? Gasping and... <laughs> There's a big difference between those two. Gasping and near exhaustion, they <laughs> contemplate whether or not to pull forward, to pull back, or to take much needed rest. What will they decide? While they are safe on the mountaintop, they are they are safe from the Cyclops. But they made it angry. Very angry. Who knows what it might do if it's able to catch them roaming inside the caves. The path to the right is obviously not the right one, but that leaves a path forward and a path to the left. If they go forward, which one do they choose? If they go back, when do they return? If they rest, how can they be sure it is safe? In between heaving breaths, the party must now decide their way forward or backward, 
and what they choose may have consequences for the unwritten parts of their tale still to come. So, you guys are on top of this cliff after running away from a very angry cyclops. You have a chance to hit, sit and take a short rest, but that's about it. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, unless we should... you decide to camp out for the night or how I think we long. should take the short rest so Ravona can get her hit points back. Okay. Ravona? Yeah. Yeah, I do need a rest if that's at all possible. It is. All right. So, do you want yeah. to take a rest? Yes. Okay, then we do it. All right, so you guys take a short rest. Uh, you recover uh, hit points with hit dice. Um, go ahead and do that. You don't hear... I get nothing. Yeah. You don't hear anything um, backwards or forward. Like I said, you're on a pretty much a, a large plateau, and, and there's only... The only way up to that plateau are the directions that you're facing. The one to the right, obviously, leading, leading to the Cyclops. Uh, the other directions, you're not sure where they're going, but there's two other tunnels, one forward and one to uh, the left. Otherwise, the plateau is, is has no inhabitants, so you're pretty safe up there. Okay, so I'm going to ask Shane if he can please write with chalk in the path in the right. Beware of Cyclops, just like the other cave goers did in the bottom path. <laughs> okay. Just for for the future's sake, you know. All right. So Shane writes, "Beware of Cyclops." And beware. Warb. Warb. Be warb. Be warb. And I don't know. Should we take the path in the middle? Seems as good as any. Anything's better than a Cyclops. <laughs> here, here. Uh, red. Okay, so you guys are going to take the path in the middle. Sure. Yeah. Uh, another cliff that goes down. Give me... Uh, give me the... Um, checks. The acrobatics or athletics. Either one of those. Grappling down. Okay, you get advantage on that. <laughs> okay. Let me do okay. the acrobatics. Okay. Yeah, that sounds. Oh, look! Okay. Look at that screw loose! <laughs> wow. All I right. think I've done it both times scaling so... this cliff now, just like walking up and down a mountain. Uh, and don't... Shane, Shane too. She has since he has advantage. Don't forget Nino as well. Uh... Oh, he has a climbing speed. Oh, that's right, he does. Uh, so Shane and Screw, you both have no problems getting down the cliffside. Loyal, it takes you a little longer, but uh, you you do all right. Um, I'm gonna need uh, Ravona to give me a uh, Dex save. All right. Um, let me look at this real quick. Were we going down in yeah. a particular order that it, if she's like falling past us, we can try and catch her, or is this a like? She's not falling yet. And... She's not okay, falling so it's like, yet. Mm -hmm. It's just a, I tripped and skinned my yeah. knee kind of thing. So you uh, start to slip and you, you kind of like jolt a little bit, and then you grab, manage to grab the edge. Uh, it takes you a little more time, but you manage to get to the bottom. At the bottom of this. Uh, Cliff, you, you're greeted with a very interesting, interesting sight. You think that your journey is near an end. Because as you make the next turn around the corner, you're immediately struck with a brilliance of light. Fungi like tower, like trees, sparkling in luminescence. The consistency of the cavern reminds you of coral with such an array of color and structure. You're able to take in for it for only a moment before a cloud of spores fills your airways. Ooh. 
as you Thank cough, God I don't have those. As you cough, you're surprised to hear words. No thoughts of each oh, other. Oh, it's, it's the, it's the uh, mushroom people. Of each other and of something else. You listen and hear sun soakers come to our dwelling. For what purpose, we wonder. And then you feel both curiosity and a tinge of fear. What do you do? Lyle's gonna um, nudge Ravona. Yeah, uh, sorry, I. What, what was the name of their tribe again, or their species? Uh, they, uh, uh, Depercy. I did, I did. I... Depercy. She called them, uh, Mykonids. Sorry, mm. how did, again? Depercy called them Mykonids. No, I called them Mykonids because I rolled a nat 20 on my natural right. nature they're, check. <laughs> they're they're Mykonids. Mykonids. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess I'll go and greet them, and I'll say, uh, greetings to you, uh, my, my canets. I am, uh, Rabona of, uh, the fur box in, out in the expanse. I came here, uh, to gather some herbs, if you will allow us to pass through your dwelling. Okay. You see, feel a sense of relief and at the same time still suspicion they're they're, they're yeah, not exactly trusting you yet um yeah. they uh they reply we don't know of the specific herbs that you are looking for but at the same time we are sure that the sun soakers have of late caused us great difficulty. We do not trust you. I can understand that. I've heard that several of the of those who came from outside the caves have given you great trouble. You and the plants around here. Is there anything we can do to assure you of our good intentions? It is not the denizens of the cave that cause us trouble. No, but I said those who came from outside the cave. It is not those who are from within the cave or outside of it that cause us trouble, but something from the surface. If you wish to earn our trust, you must come and speak with our sovereign. I shall gladly accept. And you feel another sense of relief come over you. Um, and as you do, you see a strange sight as two, then three, then four very large fungi walk over and you hear follow us and they start to walk further uh, they start to walk further into the uh, the growing forest of mushrooms yeah, I'll. I mean, I feel. I feel at home here. That's fine. I'll follow. Uh, yeah. Give me a perception check, uh, just Ravona, because you are so captivated by the scenery. <laughs> oh, well, that's a performance. I don't notice anything. Oh, performance. Oops. <laughs> okay. That's better. This is this is unlike what you've personally experienced before. You know, you've heard the descriptions of Mike and Ned uh, things from people in your tribe, but you've never actually had the opportunity to see it up close. And it is just, the colors are surprising. You've been in an underground chamber where everything has been dark and damp with a, a few bioluminescent things here and there. 
But here, it just looks breathtaking. Colors of all shades and, and, and hues just fill your vision. Yeah, definitely. Ramona is definitely turning into the equivalent of a kid in a candy store right now. Like, huh. big eyes grin on her face. Like, n normally Ramona is rather, like, reserved and stoic, but now she's like, Oh my god, this is awesome! The, uh, as you, as you, those feelings go through you, you sense a, uh, a contentment or satisfaction from the Myconids themselves, who seem to appreciate your appreciation of their of their home and so you guys walk uh for a few minutes you're led into eventually what is uh more of a contained area inside this forest of fungi and there are uh homes that are built into some of the larger stalks and you see little myconids running around from one place to another um you see uh larger myconids kind of tending to them uh and and you also see what appears to be some weird creatures that um they look almost corpse like but they have little fungus growing out of them and they appear to be simply uh standing occasionally one will help with some sort of of chore inside the village they appear to be armed you're not quite sure what they are go ahead and roll a nature check yeah uh, i i would have asked only That's ravona intriguing. or uh loyal you can roll on too since oh, you're come on nature person nature person oh i okay. know them yeah you know uh, Ravona, uh, Ravona is at a loss for words for what those things are. Uh, Loyal, you've, uh, seen these creatures occasionally in some of your hunts in the caves. Uh, they're what are known as quagoths. Um, but these quagoths don't look like normal quagoths. They look like, almost like the, um... Think of a tree trunk that has mushrooms all over it. That's what uh -huh. they look like. That's what they usually look like, or no? That's what they look like now. They usually the... look like somewhere be cross between a a goblin and troll. Okay, but that so... it just looks kind of looks like a corpse that's encrusted with fungi. Okay. So I see how appalled uh, Ravona is, and I pass on the information. Well, you look kind of weirded out about them. right? Because you can't identify them. Oh, I would have probably, I would probably be curious if, if oh. anything else, but not okay. appalled. So I, I see, I see how Ravona is curious about the 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 fungi corpses. And I'll inform her about the Quagoths, even though they look very unusual right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Loyal tells uh, you, Ravona, about the, the Quagoths and what they okay. normally look like. Kind of curious. Mm -hmm. And the, you, you kind of uh, uh, get the sense of you know, they feel a little bit of your curiosity and says, we will answer any questions that you have. Thank you. Okay. So, well, I was going to ask, why do these quagoths look so unusual? They are our servants. Oh? How so? They have long since given up life. We have given them a new kind of life. Loyal nods. Catching the meaning. Even though it's kind of weird. But he won't judge. They help to yep. protect us from outsiders that are harmful to us. Yeah. Ravuna's like, yep, know that feeling, 
need to protect the forest or mushrooms. They are not. They are not harmed. They have already given up their life. Yep. Nobody expects the plant to be a necromancer. (laughs) (laughs) A mushroom zombie, oh god. I love it. Yeah, it's just like The Last of Us. Woo! So, eventually you you work your way through this village and you see this very large uh, fungi. Like, this is massive. And there's like almost a uh, some sort of plant-like doorway uh, that kind of opens and vines recede inside is this very large version of the fungi that you've been encountering it towers probably around uh the the typical one that you've been dealing with has been around uh seven eight feet this one towers about 10 or 12 feet upwards and you immediately feel a, a sense of age and ancientness and wonder kind of fills your thoughts as the curiosity of the creature kind of flows into you and you hear you have brought sun soakers to our dwelling what is the reason and you hear they wish to gain our trust. They say they can help us. Have you told them about what we are face what we are dealing with? No, we figured that we would let you do so. And then you feel a sense of satisfaction that the 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 creature the the creatures didn't overstep their bounds and then you hear the thought ancient thoughts of this large fungi <laughs> and, it, and it, yeah and you hear we do not normally welcome sun soakers to our domain sun soakers bring harm in many cases this is a special audience because we are desperate and we need help i have sworn an oath to protect the forest to protect all plants and animals please what do you need us to do first I would like to know what you desire in our domain. It is mainly I who is the reason that my group came here. I wish to gather herbs that grow deep inside the caves. And for this reason, we would like to have your help pass through your domain, gain your approval gain your trust you don't hear anything for a moment you do feel sort of considering like the creatures considering what to say yeah and it says it, it communicates and by the way all of you who can you're part of this cloud you all, you can all hear this um mm-hmm. it says We know of the reagents you speak of. Those are critical to us at this time to hold back the corruption. What corruption is it that you speak of? At this, you feel a darkness kind of descend on your thoughts. And and not just from it, but from some of the other... uh, Mike and it's in the room and it, sa- it says where we get nourishment where we sip the waters of life have been corrupted by your black substance your black tar substance the sludge 
<laughs> that would get Screw's attention. Like, what, what? It has done things to us. And it has formed dangerous creatures. Our water supply is corrupted. Without it, we c without the reagents, we cannot keep ourselves from being corrupted by the supply. We would share our reagents with you, but you must cleanse our water supply. If it is within my powers, I will gladly do so. And if it is not, then I shall take none of the reagents. You feel relief amongst the Myconids, and you can tell that they are not ones to deal with any sort of conflict, and, and so the voice says in your minds, we appreciate your consideration and your care for our people. If you wish to help us, we will show you the path to our water supply. But it is dangerous. You must be prepared. Do you need rest? Rowena looks over to the others and, and goes, If we do this, we won't be able to attend the funeral, I believe. I have a method in which to give you the benefits of a rest without you having to take one. That would help, of that course. And yeah, Rabona looks at you again and says, I really want to help them. I really, really want to help them. Can you please help me help them? So Lyle's gonna take a bow. He's gonna like, if you may help us take a rest without having to sleep, then we may help you in this instant. It can be done. And so, as as you're standing there, all of a sudden, um, it, it reaches out kind of like tendrils and digs into the ground. And it brings up this glowing um, orb-like thing that is crusted with vines and vibrating with life. And it brings it up in its hands and it points to your party, to the party. And you hear, be filled with the energies of life. And as it says that, all of you immediately, your exhaustion, your fighting, all of that is wiped away. And all of your abilities seem to come back in one big rush. You have the benefits of a long rest without taking one. Nice. Oh my god, I think Ramona just came. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, don't say it like that. <laughs> no, but no, but honestly, honestly, this is like the greatest thing that has happened to Ramona since leaving the Expanse. Oh my god. This is the type of adventure she wanted, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Communing with nature. Yeah. The energy is intoxicating, especially for you, Ravona, as just mm. life and nature just flows in and out of you. And finally, you're kind of sad that it, it stops and it kind of backs off into the orb. And he, back. he takes the orb and kind of puts it back into the ground and, and covers it up. So it was, it was like a jade rock or it was... It was it was like a glowing rock, yeah, that was encrusted with different vines. It, it's what it looked like. Um, Fascinating. And so he says, "That is our gift to you. We will show you where our supply is." And he says, "You must take the left path downward. The path forward leads." to the strange doorway. It is not advised that you go in that direction. It is, has caused 
difficulty for some travelers who have gone there before. What kind of strange doorway is it, though? Why does it lead? It is part of an old, dead civilization of long ago. What it does, we are not familiar with. We simply stay away. I see. In that case, we shall take the path that leads to your supplies and investigate. Go and show them the way. Once they have seen the path forward, let return to me. We must discuss what is to be done about our brothers. Yes, we will obey. And they start to uh, move out um, from the large fungi. <laughs> And they, they begin to, to feel like they're urging you forward. And they do uh, lead you out of the village. And uh, on a downward slope a little bit outside the village. And this is where the fungi kind of, you know, it doesn't go away. But it, it kind of gets less dense. And they said, down this tunnel will lead you to the water supply. We await you will return. Thank you for showing us the way. We shall see to it. Everyone is a little bit sad because she wants to go back. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Must dig up magic kryptonite rock. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, um, yeah, no, no, but the whole dwelling in general, that's like, yeah, it's like candy land. <laughs> oh, well. So so Lazzy's gonna put a hand on Ravona's shoulder and he's gonna be like, don't worry, Ravona. After all, everything's done, you can go back and be friends with these guys. Out of curiosity, since it's a rock of some sort and Screw worked with metal and ore and that sort of stuff, is it a natural type of rock that he might know? Or is it just, hey, this is a magic rock the the true people found? It did, it did not look like a normal rock that you just okay. mine. Yeah. Just passing thought. Yeah. <clears throat> um, and as they back off, the sensation of being able to communicate telepathically and so forth kind of vanishes, as does their consciousness. Wow, that was I an had, experience. I had never imagined that they would be telepathic and uh, empathic. That's quite amazing, actually. Everything about it them is amazing. Makes think about it. Okay. So All right, let's see to the water supply. Okay. So you guys begin uh, traveling uh, down uh, this tunnel, and it, it does take a while. And as you travel down the tunnel, the fungi begins to fade in color and grow sickly. Where there was once bright light, now the glow has more of an ominous dark tint. There's black splotches here and there amongst the fungi. After about 10 minutes, you come to what you think was once a water source, now seemingly covered with some sort of black tar, which you believe, from their descriptions, is the sludge. The mass occasionally bubbles and froths what do you do screw see if you can drink it can i have a look around and see if there's any like source where it come from is it like a crack in the wall or i don't know where does it come from make a perception check If it's bubbling up, it's uh, probably coming from underground. Uh, you're kind of, you're kind of taken aback at the sudden opposite yeah. reaction you had before of just death. This place just, this feels like entropy and death. 
We know we went down into the caves, right? Mm hmm Do we do we know where we are under the city of Twilight? Like, is it like we're, if we were, were looking straight up, what would be in the city above us from this location? You have no idea. Okay. I gotta step away real quick. Okay. Anybody else want to give perception checks? Uh, sure. Okay. Yeah, Lyle's gonna give a perception okay. check too. Let me just... <clears throat> Where's the click? Oh, here it is. Okay. So, you guys do as you are. Zeravona's kind of shocked by the, the feel of death that comes from this. You guys do kind of look around uh, the pool of bubbling black, and you do see tiny, like, veins of, of a black that kind of slitters down the walls of the cave it kind of has drained into this pool ew um Yuck. you could probably in some way seal it off shane as you're looking around you notice that there are two l uh, hold on let me look here real quick There are, um, uh, okay, there are two, uh, myconids, or at least what appears to be something similar to what you saw before, but they look, don't look vibrant. They look kind of sickly and disoriented and... They're kind of hanging around the edges of this water source, drinking in the kind of the substance from it. We're not alone down here. How can they drink that thing? I thought only Warforge could drink that thing. I mean, you can drink it, but it doesn't taste very good, and it's not that great for you. It's not they seem to be enjoying. Yeah, it's poisonous. They're drinking from the water, but the water is think of oil, how oil floats to the top of the surface. It's kinda of like that. The sludge is kinda of like oils consistency on top of the surface. And they're trying to drink from it. But they don't look healthy and they look kind of confused. Um you're not close enough yet to be in their uh, telepathic field. I'm going to step forward. Okay. So you approach... Uh, there's one near a, a rather large rock, and as you approach, you get this sensation of confusion and, and, and both a sickening distaste and yet an uncontrollable hunger and, and it's just consuming this being and then all of a sudden you feel a sudden form of rage and anger I attempt to send soothing empathic spores back at it <laughs> okay. you try to assure it telepathically go ahead and give me a uh, well, persuasion check Oof. okay so you it, it's it's kind of wavers a little bit but you feel its anger kind of grow and its confusion its hatred can i can i try so we're we're all in the like telepathic range of this thing right shane walked or... into the telepathic range no. okay can i try as well or well is you it... may try what i want to do is i want to try to recreate this amazing feeling i had when being soaked by this magic rock of awesomeness and direct it at that thing to try and calm it down the mechanoid 
Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and give me a persuasion check with advantage. Oh yeah, my persuasion. Uh huh. Go that's super zero. charisma. Wow, that's good. Super charisma. Plus zero. Come on. So, you communicate the feelings of of what you experience, and suddenly you feel a sense of recognition from the creature, and for a moment it kind of the sickening like tank kind of backs up from its uh, from its its mind that the, the it, it kind of embraces that the feeling you're sending to it but in response all of a sudden you feel it like the the, the, the sickening blackness starts to wrap its tendrils around its consciousness and and you feel it scream in both desire and distaste all right uh i need shane and ravon i need you to give me per another set of perception checks perception all right so shane and ravona as you are stare trying to communicate with this creature uh you watch, and Shane, this special catches your eye. You watch as the rock above the creature, some of the moss on it starts to move. Okay. It starts Arizona. to slither next to the creature, next to the myconid that you're speaking to. The other myconid has also started to move your guys' direction a bit. And above it, there is a uh, another fungi, but this, you also ch see another slithering part of moss start to move down the fungi. That slithering moss, is that... Were, were the myconids usually covered with that, or is that... Um, do an investigation check. I want to see if you, how, if you notice that. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, they're covered with all sorts of stuff. Okay. Wait. So this weird moving moss stuff is on them? No, it is... Uh, actually, the one you guys are looking at is on the rock above them. Loyal. It's like on the ceiling? Uh, no, there's like a gigantic boulder like thing. And it's okay. like next to it and it's slithering along the board. Loyal, make a perception check. Alright. Okay. Oh, wow. You see from another smaller fungi a similar set of moss uh, that is moving slowly your direction. Okay. Is the moss, is the moss on the ground? On the seat. It is. I'm trying to get you guys. Okay, it is on the ground. I need everybody to roll initiative. Mm. Oh boy. What did I miss? What am I being surprised by? I don't know. Screw um. the whole perception check. <laughs> Weird okay, so so these stuff. <laughs> these are the the the, the my the my net, net, net thing on my jigs and this stuff up on the rock is that slithery. Yes, block these are on, the so. weird acting myconids right here, and right here, um, and these are the slithering moss stuff that's coming off the rocks and off the fungi. Uh, screw. You notice that the others are kind of concerned all of a sudden. They've been they've been talking with the myconids, it seems, trying to communicate with them near the pool, and now they seem to be alert to something else. All right, let me add these right. on. So the, the the myconids near the pool are like our guides, or just ones that we found? No, they're ones that were there when you uh, got okay. there. Yeah. I'm like, they, they gave us an escort. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see here. How do you spell my nuts? Uh, my wooden Y co mid. So they have a dex of zero. Lovely. Okay, I still rolled one. Well. Wow. All right. Dang. Uh. They have a dex of negative two. Ooh. Considering that they're either mushrooms or sludge. Ah! <laughs> oh, we'll just, shoot. we'll just leave them at zero. <laughs> it's kind of hard minus one. Kind of hard to have a negative initiative. They'll just stay at zero. Um, you're so slow. You're going backwards. Oh. Oh, and there's also. Uh, one that's crawling around these fungi over here. So, let me get these in order. Huh, I always do that. Okay, so, boy. Huh. There we go. Nothing, nope, nothing has become dangerous yet, but you're noticing the things kind of slither around. What do you do? Hey, so... Loyo's gonna prepare. Actually, no. The sludge thingy here mm -hmm. that's crawling in his direction. Loyo's just gonna straight up attack it. Okay. Since I'm going first, I'm gonna have advantage on that attack. So, let's do this. Ah, that was Shooting almost. Sludge fun. with a bow. Oh, wow. That's very nice. It just eats the arrow. Goes nom nom nom. Nom 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 nom. Let me see. Okay. Yeah. If nothing else. Drew is just like, hey, look, they're flammable. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. Sure. Doesn't look okay. So yeah. So you hit the sludge. Uh, the little pile of uh, sludgy type, mossy type substance. Um. It kind of goes into the sludge itself, uh, but doesn't do a whole lot. Uh, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but yeah, it it hurt. Uh, okay. Uh, so I was gonna point out the thing to the rest of the party and say I think these things, th this stuff is dangerous. <laughs> okay. Danger, danger. At that, uh, the the uh, Mykonid. Uh, next to uh, move this window out here. Load. All right. So the Micah dead next to you guys is gonna move towards Ravona, and it's gonna bring its fist down. Sending happy thoughts. Oh god, I think that hits me. Fifteen. Uh, wait. No. Hang on. Yes, it hits me. Yeah, okay. So, it smacks you across the shoulder. You feel like these little tiny, sp like, spore-like needles go into your shoulder. So not only does it hurt on the impact, you feel kind of poison seeping through. You take uh, no. five points of bludgeoning and seven points of poison Hang damage. Hang on. Mm. Hang on. I'm confused. Wait, I think I think this I think this this uh this sheet is calculating my AC wrong. Let me check something really quick. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so that is twelve plus AC. Mm-hmm. Uh 12, 12 plus twelve plus dex, I mean. Dex. Yeah, dex. Okay. Plus Plus my shield. I should, yeah, no, it still it still hits me. I've got okay. 15 AC, not, not not 14, but yeah, it hits me. Okay. So yeah, you take 5 points of bludgeoning, 7 points of poison damage from Ew. the attack. Um, surprise, it hit you. The other one is going to come towards you, Shane. 
and it's going to do the same. It's not going to hit you. This one, you still saw they want to hit Ravona, so you're ready for this one. It comes over, and you kind of stuck quickly as its its long, fungi-like arms miss. Okay. That's its turn. Screw you up. Goal. I guess I will go ahead and I will shoot a uh, Vic, you, you shot the one up here, right? Yep, that one. Yep, he did. And the, this one's just slowly slamming down the wall. Yep. Alright. I will double test that theory, and I believe I'm within 60 feet. Yes, I am going to start a bonfire underneath that mossy one. Actually, maybe I should do it over here. Yeah. I'm going to go put me a little bonfire right under this guy. Okay. There's my poor excuse for fire. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, what? And I gotta I got click the button. My yeah, yeah, I gotta click, click the button. Click the button. Okay, so... Oh, we have good fire damage. Uh, dex save... Come on, Moss. Dodge me. <laughs> yes! Oh! Is it just because do all... Okay, it didn't do all Zero. negative ones. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't just throwing out negative ones. Um, okay. Yeah, so uh, a fire kind of erupts around the... is, And even though it does hurt it some, it doesn't seem to hurt it as much as you thought it was going to. Oh, well. It was still hilarious. Um... Uh, Try to dodge this, Moss. <laughs> it's not very dexterous, to say the least. Yeah. Okay, so. Alright. That's your turn. Shane, you're up. So, as the thing comes to hit me, Shane does this cool move that he learned in his martial arts class. Where he turns the punch into a grapple and he's going to attempt to grab this okay. thing. Uh, give me a str- Okay. 12? Athletics versus athletics or acrobatics. I don't know how- Yeah, it's yeah. not very strong. Uh, check. Yeah. You grappled Ooh. it. You managed to grab a hold of it. Grapple it. So I grab it, and then I just take off running with it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, you, you... I believe I can only move half my yeah, speed. Yeah, so 15 well. feet. So, I'll yeah. go Just straight backwards? Are... Yep. Okay. You get Where are you taking the poor man? <laughs> so, you see Shane grab this mic and it start dragging it away from the pool. Alright. Ravona. <laughs> Well, let's see. You feel um, a little sick, yeah. Poison, ew. yeah. <laughs> ew. Um, hmm. I'm kind of squished between my kind of stuff. Can I have my kitty cat token, please? Yeah. My line token. I'm gonna wild ship. All right. So kitty cat, on. eh? Hey, are you gonna push one of the myconids? Because you're gonna get one size larger. Actually, no, you could just grow in this direction. Yeah. Rawr. Meow. I think it's out of place. It's supposed to be here. Okay, I've, I've, I've just, I've just uh, replaced my right there. my armor and shield, and now it's calculating my AC at 16. This is weird. Hmm. Oh well, yes, yep. that's fine. Okay. You might have to go into the settings and fix the Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Right. Mm. I am going to... I'm squished, I'm squished between... This, this one is grappled, right? That one is grappled, mm -hmm. yes. Pretty sure this it can one... still punch you if you run away from it, though. Mm -mm. But you're a lion, so... 
We'll see about that. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna go bum, 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 wiggle, pounce on that one right down there. Which so gonna... is a pounce, yeah. So you're gonna try to run away um, from it and then come back? No, um... No, no this one. Going... I thought you meant the slime. Oh, okay, the slime? Yes. That, uh, fungi is... That... I actually, I actually meant this one. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Oh. So you're gonna take attack of opportunity on from the mycenid? Mycenid? Yeah. Okay. All right. Bum wiggle pounds. Yeah, this, this is this is how we named it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you take one. Ten probably doesn't hit you. Mm -hmm. I still think we need to change your token to that picture. <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> uh, grappled. Can't benefit. Incompat. If the condition into grapples, you know, additional effects removed. Grapple with each grapple. Doesn't say it can't respawn. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Um, I'm pretty sure it can. Yeah. So neither neither one of those hits you. Yeah. Those cool. are what they're supposed to roll normally. Um... That was a, that was good damage too. Like, good thing it didn't hit. Mm -hmm. They're terrible. So yeah. To um... Mm -hmm. Eight, eight, sl eight lashing. No, it's not lashing. It's slashing. Hang on, <laughs> slashing damage to uh, to the slime, and it needs to make a strength saving throw. <laughs> okay, the slime is gonna make a strength saving throw. Or I sit on it. No, it's not going to make a strength saving throw. <laughs> the problem. Well the problem is, I don't think they can be knocked prone. <laughs> it's slime. How do you knock slime prone? It's all. Kind of already. It's already prone. Prone. <laughs> well, at least give it the piercing damage. I'm gonna give it the damage, but Wait, that's weird. Don't you get to make an attack if oh, they yes. fail it? Yes, that's right. Hang on. Yeah. Oh yeah, it needs to be an attack as a bone. Yeah. Go but ahead. I have, but okay. So does it count as prone or not, or is it like is prone not a thing? It's For so slime, because you succeeded, I'll let you do it. Yeah. How's that's fair enough. Okay. Eleven with an advantage. Oh. Are you shitting me? Uh, eleven does hit. Um, wow. Okay. <laughs> so. Nine, it's four, good. thirteen. It has minus two dexterity. Yeah, it's terrible dexterous wise. Mm -hmm. it's, it is, oh, it must have the same AC as, as a Q. Okay, so that is your. At this point, turn. I think we'd be more surprised if it suddenly dodged us. <laughs> Nino! Okay. So Nino's gonna see that uh, Loyal attacking this thing. Uh huh. And he's gonna notice that there's another thing just like it, but it's closer to him. Mm hmm. Close enough that he can hit. So he's gonna. Uh, his ring is 25, so it's 40 feet away. So let him move 15. One, two, three. And he's gonna grab a rock from either the ground or his pouch. It doesn't matter. Uh -huh. And he's gonna and he's gonna throw at the slime. Okay. Yeah, twenty three hits. Even the disadvantage it would have hit. Um, yeah. So yeah, the rock kind of embeds, breaks up the slime up a little bit. Oh ah ah yeah. ah. <laughs> I still don't understand a word you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, because the spores are around, you might be able to understand what he's saying. Oh my god, what did he say? <laughs> <laughs> I think this would be so, worrisome. So Lino, Nino's going to be like, eat rock, slime thing, eat rock. <laughs> All right. You taught Nino English? <laughs> really, we had an hour, and you decided to teach Nino English. All right. Well, he's seeing it telepathically, and yep. he has like six intelligence, so he can 
Learn word. Now it is the masses' turn. Oh wow, it is so. Now, now Shane is just more slow. worried. Oh god, there's a monkey in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> That's that. That is all it can move. So freaking slow. <laughs> it is slime. Bloop. <laughs> and then, well, not your fire there. Sorry. No, I can. I... Loop. <laughs> Did you just go ten feet? <laughs> yeah. So I guess I could. I guess I could dash for twenty. Oh no! Ah, uh, yeah. I guess you could dash. For 20. I mean, <laughs> still uh, no. so slow. Oh my goodness. This is just awkward and hilarious. Bloop. All right. The other slime near you, Ravana, is going to attack you, though. Come at me, bro. Uh, uh, my dad called. I'll have to call him in a minute. No, All right. that does not it. So, yeah. Oh, so that you, acid damage, though. You feel that this this large, like, pod, like, come your direction, and you kind of, like, dodge it out of the way. It's really slow, so no chance of hitting you. That's its turn. Bloop. The equivalent of crashing in a golf cart. Oh, no, I'm going five miles an hour. <laughs> Boy, all you're up. Okay. So Loyal sees the thing approach him, and he he's gonna take like two. St he's gonna get close to, to 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 screw. Okay. I was about and, to say, why are you walking up to it? No. Yeah, he's gonna get real close <laughs> to screw. And he's gonna first. He's gonna cast Hunter's Mark. I'm not running away. I'm just walking. <laughs> Hunter Spark? Gonna... All right. Uh, um, I'm, I'm gonna click it after I see if I hit some some rolls damage, but I'm just seeing it first, so it counts. Okay. So I'll we'll... go ahead and mark you... the one you're running from. You're marking. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll go ahead and put that up there. So longbow attack. Mm -hmm. 14, Fourteen hits. hits. Mm -hmm. Cool. Hunter's mark. Ah. <laughs> uh, your air kind of slices through it. Uh, it's looking kind of haggard now, but um, mm -hmm. not it's, on fire. It's yeah, it's not on fire. Um, uh, okay, so yeah, it's. Uh, it's 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 barely holding its ooze like ooze like substance up. Cool. Correct me if I'm wrong, the slime things that me and Loyal are shooting are animated sludge, or are they like melted mycodins? You have no idea what they are. Okay. <laughs> All well, right. I, I assume Screw would know what it like. That looks like my breakfast. Why is it chasing me? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, yeah, I... Okay. Um, <laughs> I thought it was a solid bot. Shane, are you gonna hang on? That's a straight check of yeah. 19. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you got outflexed by the mushroom. No, I didn't. Well, no, it didn't. Because I have a plus it's a six. big struggle, but it, it tries to break three, but you managed to hold down its fungi-like arms. How and tall it, is this thing? Uh, it's... Anywhere from this particular one's probably about seven feet tall. <laughs> okay. <laughs> big mushroom. Yeah, I mean these are big mushrooms. All right, so this one over here though, uh, it can't move much faster. They're, they're not quite large. It's gonna walk they're, they're over just... to Nino because it's the next closest target. Oh no, Nino. Ooh. 14? Ooh! That's like exactly his AC. Oh, damn. Yeah, so he takes six bludgeoning damage and six poisoning damage as the tendrils, spike tendrilled arm falls down on the Nino. That's a that's a nasty little hit. There. It hurts! It burns! <laughs> ah! Yeah. 
His girls aren't very good at hitting, but their hits are. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, they really aren't that good at hitting. <laughs> uh, thank goodness. Alright, so, yeah. You know, it looks pretty bad. Um, screw, you're up. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna go on a country stroll and go do 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 do. I don't think that triggered any attacks. Actually, I... Yeah. Oops. <laughs> okay. let, me do, let me do that correctly. Yeah. Alright, alright. <laughs> there we go. Dude, still provoking You're your still gonna get attacked twice for that. Uh... Out of reaction. No, no, only, only take that one, right? Yeah. yeah, you're only gonna take it from him. Yeah, I, I'm good with that. I'll stroll. I'll just stroll on by. Why? Why can only that one attack him? Because I feel like I, I only I only left his uh, his area. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's... You walked around that yep. one. Okay. Yeah. So the mic is gonna try to take a shot at you as you walk by it. Just going on nope. a stroll. <laughs> Clank. I'll just well, at least he here. has resisted the poison damage. So it's well, I was also trying to draw fire from Nino, be like, "Hey, over here!" So, and then I will Earth Tremor. Okay. Wait, what's the range of Earth Tremor? I messed it. I didn't, I didn't hit Shane this time. Oh, nice. Huzzah. <laughs> okay, is it, where are you pe casting it exactly? It, it's centered on me. Oh, it's centered on you. Okay. So let's see. Uh, one, two, three. Okay. So he just he punched the ground. Just like uh, yeah, do the do the earthbender thing. Uh. So they deck save or they take one d yeah, six yeah, yeah, and fall prone. So deck save. Go ooze. Well, go ooze. Yeah, the <laughs> ooze is not gonna fall prone. Um. Uh -huh. But the mykonids might. Well. Shane's got It'll one be... grappled, so <laughs> I don't know if it could fall prone, g prone without Shane going with it. So, um, because it's pretty big. Uh, Dex saves eleven. Nope. Six. And I'm just getting the, the damage for the ooze because <laughs> it can't. Because <laughs> I mean, it can't really, you know, fall prone. Um. I just totally pictured it flipping over like a scrambled egg, and then it just it, it re, its eyes like resurface on the other side. Like I'm still here. Yeah. All right. Sure. It's not looking that great. Uh, this so yeah, mechanid like falls. Uh, Nino, make a deck save. Nino's out of the range. Yeah. No, 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 no. The mechanid is falling over. It's seven oh, the feet tall. Fall. <laughs> oh, he's gonna fall on top of Nino? <laughs> Oops. This is the most it's... dangerous spell we have. <laughs> Apparently so. I suppose I should have yelled timber. I guess. It's yeah, Nino, question. you managed to, to. I'll move you over here. Move out of the way as it goes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other Mykonid's not gonna be prone because Shane's grappling it. Yep. But I did some damage, so I'm good. That's my turn. That oh, one nice. took six Earth damage. Earth. That was max damage. Woohoo! Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Six. Actually, that's a first level spell. Shouldn't that add my. Isn't that adding your stuff? I don't think it's adding my charisma because. What's your charisma? It shouldn't. It shouldn't add your charisma. It's, it, it only says 1d6 bludgeoning damage. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. play plus charisma. Yeah. Weird. Unless you're an evocation wizard. Yeah. Oh, is, yeah. it, is that it? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so. I thought there was anything past cantrips. That Scott, also took six that. damage. No. Okay. okay. Makes you sense. can take a look at the spell if you want. All right, nah. Shane, you're up. I cool. I am running away. <laughs> okay, just dragging this mic it away. Da dashing with, <laughs> dashing with the mic <laughs> All right. where, where are you going with this poor tree? <laughs> Look, I have no just... idea. I, just, I don't want to kill these things. Just running away. But they're trying to kill you. Yeah. Ravona, you're up. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Uh, do I do it? Yeah. I'm gonna chomp, chomp down on this thing. Oh, yeah, that that hurts. It tastes horrible. I know. Yeah. Horrible. Uh... But you do manage gonna... to chomp it to beast pieces and finally it kind of just kind of just sits as a pool. 
Yeah, so basically I jump down on it and then you hear this horrible retching sound as I as I spit everything out like, and again. Yeah, and then you feel I feel you vomit on teeth. its corpse. You feel the yeah. few of your teeth get a little corrosion on them. Ew. <laughs> Good thing these aren't mine. Hurts. All right. So that one is done. Yep. Would you like bum to move? wiggle pounce bum wiggle pounce uh, uh next round when if this one survives, but yeah, no, I'm staying. Okay. Actually, hang on. What? Wait a second. How, how much? Ah, 50. 50. Yeah, I've got 50 feet of movement. I can can go every anywhere I want. Actually, no. Let me let me move a little bit forward, like this, in case. In case it moves. The but incredibly yeah. fast slimes come at you. Yes, exactly. <laughs> They're so fast. Um, <laughs> Your turn. Nino. Oh, Nino son. Okay. Nino is gonna hit uh, the Mykonid with the with his fist. All right. But since he noticed that the party doesn't want to harm the Mykonids, he's gonna do it non-lethally. Okay. Does a Mykonid count as a humanoid or not? No, it's plant. Okay. Not that you would know the. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of obvious as a plant. Yeah. Yeah. The All type right. is actually information that the players need to know. Yeah. A lot of abilities only affect certain things. Yeah, exactly. Okay, if seven. it was Mike, if it was, it would have a favorite enemy. All right. Yeah. So you just kind of beat it down, and it kind of goes back and forth a little bit mm -hmm. as you're beating it up. All right. It is this slime's turn. This bit of slime is going to attack Screw. Hello! Uh, nope. <laughs> yeah. uh, this slime here is going to advance on Nino. This Not slime Nino. here is going to uh, advance toward Ravona and get there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, at the top of the round, and do everybody give me perception checks? Oh god, is there something coming onto the water? Every, well, not Shane. Shane's running away. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so at the top of the round, that means oil. Okay. All right. From all right, you guys, as you're trying to deal with these, all of a sudden you see a pool of this sludge stuff starts to coalesce at the at the in the middle of it. Oh god! And all of a sudden, there's this mound of black that rises from the. What the hell is that? Oh god! From from the. Uh, let me get it in the. Well, did I put it on the map layer? Yeah, no, no, I didn't. Where did it go? Why can't I click? There it goes. All right. I'm like, where can't I put it under initiative tracker? All right. So I'm going to uh, roll its dex, which is probably not much better. No, no, it is not. It is not much better at all. Um, it's actually worse. Okay, it's still got a good roll. Oof. <laughs> Ooh, dang. That's a terrible dex. Uh... Did you play Ring Around the Rosie with this giant rock? Alright, so... <laughs> loyal. <laughs> You're up. Okay. So Loyal's gonna yell, Shane, come back! We need your help! <laughs> and he's gonna shoot an arrow at the... at the ooze that he's been targeting. I just totally realized if I twin and large, I will make a huge kitty cat out of a Ravona. <gasps> oh. <laughs> that would be one big cat. Just like, meow! Yep, that hits. <laughs> Does it kill him? Yeah, you kind of your next arrow just kind of slices through it and leaves it like just a little 
like a puddle, puddle right by Nino. Okay. So as a bonus action, I'm gonna move my hunt to the big guy. Okay. All right. Mike and it will once again try to get loose from Shane. I say no! Oh no, he says yes. <laughs> it, it gets loose. So you, as you're trying to drag it off, it becomes even more frustrated and, and it manages to get loose. Um, and now it's just going to sit there and look at you angrily. All right. The other Myconid's going to stand up. Of course. And then it's going to attack Nino. Yeah. Uh, miss. Okay, he misses. Yay. The big uh, fungi light alarm hits next to Nino. Dust kind of flies through the air. This black mound moves here. <laughs> That's in this quick. They're good. <laughs> and begins Whoa. to slither onto the land. It just has its bubbles come out of it as it, it emerges from the water supply. You hear <laughs> Does it have the shape of a creature or is it just a No, you know, that tumbling. creature is just part of the art <laughs> unfortunately I was, I was just yes curious. it is eating the creature yes there is a creature inside of it eating it no there's no creature that's i actually just there. designed a dungeon with some of these this morning yeah <laughs> i know exactly what they are oh dang shane but you're shane up. doesn't um is it possible to manacle a conscious person who is unwilling <laughs> you'd have to subdue them <laughs> punch him punch him unconscious and deal yeah, with it later. You'd have to subdue him. Okay. Challenge you Um <laughs> hit him with the blunt your blade. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna attempt to non lethally take chunks out of this thing. Okay. Uh, bonus it, action into your sword. Bonus action to activate my right of the dawn. And then longsword attack it. Okay. So, um, you, uh, you take your uh, longsword out. It, it does hit the Myconid. <clears throat> and, don't kill uh, the Myconid! I don't want to! You're not going to kill the Myconid. You're all right. Um, it does look pretty. It does look pretty rough. It's still kind of uh, flailing, flailing a bit. <clears throat> um, screw you. That up. was thirteen damage, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, the the big thing tumbling towards me. Is it sludge? Like I assume uh, Screw would know the properties of sludge to a degree, since it's his like it's... battery power. It. <sighs> Go ahead and give me a uh, in, uh, investigation check. Searching data banks. Yeah, I was like, Murder. okay. Um, so while the creature itself seems to be a creature, you do sense that there are like tendrils of sludge that kind of flow in through its its state. That perhaps the creature is not normally made of sludge. So it's not it's not one hundred percent sludge but it, it has it running through its veins correct kind of thing. yeah okay um and then following up that investigation does screw know anything about the uh like chemical properties of sludge like does it is it conductive to it, electricity does it sludge is a from what you know sludge is a fuel um okay. it was discovered in the order on expanse and it was discovered around the same time uh, that uh, give or take that the uh, the, ma the magic me. started failing that we the arcane energy started wearing out 
And so it was seen as a gods. It's seen as a godsend because it's a way to power everything without the need for uh, arcane Magic. energy. Okay. So, but but there's there's no like this is, keep fire away. Sludge is flammable. It, it doesn't like water. It, it, it's there's not no... oil. It's okay. it, it 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 has to be refined before it's able yeah. to be burned. No, no, this no, no, is no. actually uh, residual sludge from but that has already been used so th this those... is information that sludge would uh a screw would already know yes. so I, I was just digging yes. for that as a character yes or as a player mm -hmm. um and i guess i will just stand here and be like that's a lot of sludge and then punch the one next to me okay <laughs> good commentary <laughs> uh where's my button there's my button You hit it. Oh no! I am corroded. <laughs> so as you heal it, hear it, your your hammer that you've been using suddenly parts of it start to like wear off, and acid like eats through it. You've got a minus one hammer. Well, that that was his arm more or less. So it's like, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Your oh, arm, shit. your arm is like corroding <laughs> off at the moment. All right. Uh, that, that that is good information to have, as I will now go. Oh shit! And run away. But you did hit it for some yeah. damage. So All I'll, right. I'll take my attack, attack of opportunity, and go. Okay. Way. I will go this way. It will attack, attempt to grab, attack you. Uh. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Ouch. Ouch. Savage. And since you're made of metal... I'm being corroded very your, fast. Your AC drops by one. All right. Yeah. Um, is, is this... And then for my bonus action, I was going to do my repair. So, does, does that fight against the corrosion any? Or no, this no, you'll have, to, you'll have to sit down and... Do That's that. what I wanted to double check. Yeah. So I, yeah. I need to replace those plates, basically now. Basically, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm, and I took twelve damage. Yeah. Alrighty, I'm done. All right. <laughs> and I healed six of it, so I only took six. I'm good with this. It whacked you. All right. And I have a temporary AC of sixteen. <laughs> there you go. Uh, All right, Ravona, you're up. <laughs> if okay. That's not enough of my turn. I yell that of the road metal. <laughs> well, good, 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 good thing. Good Is thing this I'm panic afraid. I hear from my robot? <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of panic. <laughs> to be okay. fair, that would be probably one of the few things that can now kill Screw. It's, oh God! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take uh, a few steps back so that I've got twenty feet between me and that slime, okay. and then I'm gonna bum wiggle pounds. <laughs> pounds. All right, let me see. Twenty-three should hit. Yeah, it hits. Let me let's do it. Save. Okay, yeah. So yeah, you were able to. And another nine. Fight again. All right. Nine and five. That's not quite enough. This one hasn't been harmed yet. Okay. Mm. Uh, I'm also I'm also gonna like move around a little bit so that I don't know, just like this, and that's my turn. Okay, yeah, it, it's looking pretty rough, but it uh, before that point it hasn't been harmed. Um, yeah. <clears throat> that's your turn, uh, Nino. You're up again. Nasty taste in your mouth, by the way. Just ugh, slime. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Nino's gonna. Punch the the mechanoid again. Okay. No intention to kill, but it's it's a punch. Okay. All right, monkey punch. Huzzah! That just hits. All right, and you're able to 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 knock it down. It's still it's still trying to fight back. It's looking rough though. What did what did you call the um, slime thing that corroded me? I call. What, what do you mean? Like it's just 
It's well, just, what, what was the name of the monster? I was going to add it into my meticulous notes so I know that Screw has to fix this. Um, you you don't know what the monster ooze. is. Yeah, I'll, I'll just say it's ooze a monster. Ooze. It's a noose, okay. but you don't know that. Yeah, it's an ooze type. Um, yes. Ooze okay. type, yes. Um, yes. <laughs> that is that is its race. Its, it's race is ooze. ooze. Yeah. All right, so the ooze over here is going to go to Nino. Uh, Ooh, Nino's going to have Nino's rough. looking yummy. He's, yeah. Not going to hit him this time. Kind of misses. Nino's kind of trying to be careful. This one is going to attack you, Ravona. Yep. Not also not gonna hit you. Nope. All right, I think those are it. You're up, loyal. Hey, she. Uh, Loyal's gonna take the first shot at the black ooze. Okay. Well, I guess Ooh. we know you aren't getting your yeah, arrows. Yeah, that hits. Let me, let me, uh, Hunter's Mark. Wait okay. a second. Please max damage. Ah, okay. Okay. But that's 15 anyway. <laughs> All right. So yeah, your arrows kind of slice through a good portion of of this 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 substance. Kind of flies off, but it it's still coming. Okay. Uh, also, he's gonna uh retreat a little bit. Go up here. Okay. Put some distance between him and the big, big ass target. Mm. Mm, let me see. Yeah, that's this works. Okay. The mic it in now. Well, one will attack you, Shane. You're trying Not in to... the face. Oh, that's that a nice was the face. <laughs> you take four e. bludgeoning and six poisoning damage from that smack on the face. Yowch. Uh, the other one is going to attack. Uh, unfortunately, Nino. Yowch. Doesn't hit. No. Nino dodges out of the way. Nino yeah. is just keeping avoiding death. Um. That's its tur their turn. It's time for the black stuff. All right, so let's see. Who does it wish? To oh, shoot. Munch. To be fair, oh, I'm, a straight I'm a straight shot. You are a straight shot, but it doesn't have eyes. Oh. Um, so it's going to sense movement in this direction oh and head towards Ravona oh I actually forgot uh, the earth tremor actually made difficult terrain as well oh yeah it's supposed to give it difficult terrain I, I don't think it was very big it was just that 10 foot area that I was in so it's like that right there where were okay. you oh okay alright um 25. Oh! <gasps> oh! I guess that I guess that answers my question. Oh! <laughs> mm -hmm. wait, 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 wait. That's 10. That's oh. 32. That's 40. That's 34. 44. What? Oh. 44, yes. 44. 44. Okay, wait, that's, um, that's 24... 18 I'm unconscious. Oh. Like right out of I'm going to half that. that. <laughs> well, that's that's un well, unconscious. Well, well, you should <sighs> Yeah, I'm going to half that. It's a crit. That's It's a crit. That's crits. Yeah. Yeah, like if if you if you are if you want to half that, don't half it. Just take out the plus twelve or something like that. If you're feeling merciful, but yeah, that's a crit. 
was a ten. Ow. That was hurt. Yeah, so you guys, uh, wow. You see this thing just come up with a giant black pseudopod and smacks Ravona across the side and she just bloop, out of form onto the ground. Yep. Does it, does uh, it, it, do you like ragdoll or is she just like dead where it punched her? It, she just drops. Okay. Yeah. Yep, I just drop. Oh shit. Also, I think I think my token isn't isn't linked to my to my sheet. It's not. I don't know. I've I've set I've set it to zero hit points, and it's it's not done anything. Oh. Maybe yeah. maybe maybe. Oh, it, it's it not. You're right. You're right. Me. It's not. Hold on. So, this yep, is there so we go. Stupid. Eh, who knows? Uh -oh. They probably they probably did something to the uh, well. roll twenty. Yeah, well, shit. Okay, now. Well, the good thing is, the good thing is that if I had been in my regular form, I would have been dead out, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> At least you're just unconscious, but holy, mm. holy. Shane, you watch as Ravona just gets whacked out of beast form and just falls onto the ground. Leave it. Leave it, leave it. God dang it. Uh, <laughs> I just do a big swing with the uh, blunt end edge of the sword and yeah. just try and send the thing just flying. Yeah, yeah, uh, you, you knock it out. <laughs> 15 damage. You knock it out. It is now unconscious. Good. Uh, now we panic. Yep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and... <laughs> All right, you want to move? Yes. <laughs> uh, I did tell you it, oh. it crowds metal, by the way. So. Yeah. Well, does does his sword count as magical when he's using the right hit? Oh, does it? No, it is not magical. Mm -hmm. Damn it! I'm going to attempt. Whoa. You're cutting it and out. Whoa, what was that? Are the mushrooms difficult terrain? Um, yeah, they're pretty tall. <laughs> okay. uh, question question before he moves there, then. Since we're both acting on 14 initiative, can I slap him with a um, enlarge as we both basically turn and do the same thing? On your turn. Okay. What do you want to slap me with? I was gonna enlarge us both, and then we go to the rescue. Okay. On your turn. You um. Do that. But you you can't delay your movement, so. Yeah. To yes. just do what you're gonna do. That's okay. I can get there in two turns. So I run and cower behind. <laughs> okay. Mushrooms. <laughs> Actually, Abe, you 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 know how to do the um wizard stuff better. If I twin and enlarge, can I do an enlarge and a reduce? I don't, um, I don't see why one not. Spell. Probably, yeah. I, see why I mean, not. it's just casting the spell again. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Well, that sounds grand. Okay, so Shade runs behind the fun guy. Um, screw, you're up. <laughs> well, I'm gonna test this theory then, so I will go. Oh crap! And I will uh, get my little ruler. Walking all the way back. Are you enlarging yourself? Well, I, I have to do it. Well, I'm next to the guy, so I can enlarge myself and slap the monster, the big bad guy, and it reduce him. Okay. So he gets big, and the the thing gets medium. Well, it, it gets a save, I believe, because I believe if, yeah. if What's large the, is yeah. used... What's the if save? If large is used... Oops. Why is it asking for... My large button is not working. Oh, oof. Oh, I have to choose what level it's at. There Word it. tight. Ugh. <laughs> Where's the uh, save? Reduce... 
constitution. Okay. Yeah. So it probably has a decent constitution, but... Unfortunately. <laughs> it didn't make Yay! it! <laughs> you, yes, whoa, you guys yes, watch as, as Screw gets huge, and all of a sudden those gets, well, not as big. <laughs> oh, yay! <laughs> so... Just Mario sound effects. Uh, yeah. So, the target let deals 1d4 less, less damage. damage which won't help a whole lot won't but... help a lot but <laughs> it's a thought that counts yeah okay and yeah that's my turn that's your turn now let's hope you don't get one shot ravona yeah, roll death saving net throw. 20 net 20 net 20 net 20 oh, oh, you I have a success wait wait why is it rolling two? Yeah, no, it's a success. Because you should always roll two. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Ravona, you have one success. Nino, you're up. Nino is going to punch the the mechanoid again, hoping that this time the, the, the fungus thing gets knocked the hell out. Yep. Out it goes. <laughs> Cool. Now, now he only needs to deal with this thing. Mm-hmm. Is he gonna try yeah, to that move is just stay where he is? Mm, if he moves, he's gonna get an attack of opportunity. So true. I guess he'll try to engage it in a fist fight. Uh, <laughs> all right. Kite, kite it through the difficult terrain. It's the ooze's turn. Um, Tiny ooze. The one. <laughs> One over here with Nino is going to attack him. Nino's been lucky so far. And he's lucky again. He just oh! kind of swaps next to the ground. Ah, that, that, oof. All right, mm. and then the ooze over next to, uh, well, it doesn't have anybody next to it anymore, so it's going to move towards Screw here. It's going to attack him. Nope. Oh god. So the pseudopod it it misses you on its attack. Icky Crody people. That's its turn. Loyal, you're up. Well, I was gonna shoot the big now medium boss the man. Big now medium boss man. Dear God, their acid damage is terrifying. That that crit though, yeah. Yep. That hits. <laughs> well, hunter's mark. <laughs> Hunter mark, save the day. All right. Hey, look, max damage. Roofed blink. All right. Jason, eleven, total. <sighs> Too bad you're not getting any of those arrows back. Nope, yeah. those oh, arrows well. are. <laughs> uh, okay. It's still looking fine. It's still a big ball of ooze. Slowly. You shot the boss, not the other guy, right? Hmm. Uh, he shot the boss. Yeah, he not shot the... the big one, or okay. well, the now the same size one, whatever. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Is that all you're gonna do? You move? Yeah, that's all I can do. Okay. That was a bonus. All right, it will now attack. Screw. Hello. Oh. I got. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I think it's bugged. No amount of shield let me, let me chest, there. Let me make sure this is not. Oh no, it's not bugged. <laughs> oh, that's just really wait, so lucky. This is, this is wait, 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 wait. So this is ten, thir forty-seven. Oh! Is that? That kills um, him. No, 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 no. Technically, it's acid damage. I'm resistant to acid damage, so it's half. <sighs> Oh, you, oh, really? It's, what? It's still, like, oh. still likely to put me down, but yeah, oh. you, 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 you are definitely going unconscious. I'm from going that. down. And screw. Yeah. Lose. You lose your spell, right? It goes back down. Yeah. Right. Oh, That's well, poison, I, 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 not I, 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 acid. Oh, you're right. Oh, I thought it was poison. My bad. Acid. Nope. I'm. Well, <laughs> in ah! that, in that case, what's what's your max health? Uh, twenty nine. 
Okay, okay, so, so you're not it, dead. Not, you're you're not dead, dead. <laughs> well, happy Ooh. make new characters every one day. <laughs> Whoa. No. Uh, no, not that one. Uh, yeah. You're, you're, I'm, 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 wing, I'm, wings and... All right. And does I, that I go mean down and the big guy goes back. Yeah, the ooze gets back bigger and... Wait. Uh. <laughs> he just eats his friend next to him. No, no, no. All right. Maybe Loyal can kite it until it's <laughs> Shane. done. Shane! <laughs> Screw is just dissolved. By the way, Screw... Did, did when that crowed me? When you wake up, yeah, you have now two. Minus two. Okay. In your AC. I, I, I know you did it for the little guy, so I wanted to <laughs> confirm if the boss guy does the same crowed metal. Of, oh, God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what do you do, Shane? <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> Shane has seen that these things don't have any eyes, so he hopes that if he if he stays completely still, <laughs> they won't attack him. Climb the mushroom. Let me check out that. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Am I taking that hit as a corroded armor, so another minus to AC? Ooh. Um. Yeah, it's another minus to AC. Yeah, so you're down okay. to minus two AC. Yep, that's what I wanted to double check. Because mm -hmm. the, the hammer only corroded once. Alright, so Shane, you're just going to stay where you are? Do I need to make a check, or...? Um, yeah, go ahead and make a stealth check. Okay. This oh. is with disadvantage <laughs> as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you're screw! I need a death saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> Try and fix myself. Roll 20, roll 20. Hey. Uh, you passed. I, no, I, I have advantage on death saving throws. <laughs> you get up! All right. Ow. Oh, wow. So you get up with one health point. <laughs> this is a bad idea, Runaway. <laughs> oh, no And way. he instantly goes down. It, it's not my turn, so... But... To be fair, that's the only way Screw can get up, because you guys can't fix it. That is yeah. true. You are prone, though. I will ground. continue playing dead until something tries to eat me more. Oh, yeah, that's a valid strategy. They don't know that he's up. I'm just limp. All right. So, uh, Ravona, death saving yep, throw. Success. Yep, you've gotten two. Okay. Looks like the gods are smiling upon us. To varying degrees. What I mean, what is with that? the two crits in a row from the boss monster. All right. Well, I mean, they work in whimsical ways. Nino. <laughs> Nino's Nino, still struggling Nino, with. Nino's, Nino's now gonna punch uh, the the ooze thing, but now he's gonna do it for realsies. If nothing else, we have an excuse for being late to the funeral. <laughs> <laughs> totally. I'm sorry, I am melting. I cannot make it to the funeral at the moment. I'm in the middle of my own funeral. Oh. Please wait. Okay, Nino yeah. So, you know, finally just kind of pounds repeatedly over and over again until the ooze just is gone and just dissolves. Ooze. Yeah, move me now. And, and, and also, he's going to climb up this rock. Okay. So the big ooze can't reach him. <laughs> okay. Is that a big boulder or is that like that's a, a roll? That's a boulder. That's probably okay. about, uh, probably about eight or nine feet high. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So On with his end. full movement, with his full movement of thirty, he can probably okay. climb it. So yeah, he, yeah, you know, hops up on the boulder. <laughs> All right. The ooze senses metal near it. Uh -oh. Unfortunately, screw. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> and is going to attack again with advantage. With advantage because you're on the ground. I'm prone. Aha! Ah, yes. Oh. Oh, he hits. And nope. down you oh. go. Oh, with advantage. Oh, oh he is, his AC is reduced. No! Yeah, yeah. My AC is only a 15 at the moment because I've been crowded twice. 
<laughs> there they go again. Now thrice. Well, at least I can try again. Loyal, you're up. <laughs> does that count as more corrosion, by the way? Loyal, uh, Yes, it does. You're now down to oh, oh, three. <laughs> and it was a melting very gets up to five. He's going to die. You know, yeah, maybe. Many. Yeah. AC is not good at minus five. Oh, right. you, because your, your crow metal said something about minus five. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah if it gets to minus five, it's destroyed. Yeah. Well, it says non-magical. Technically, screw would be magical. Yeah, that's true. Technically, screw true. would uh, be magical. Technically, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, oh, his internal components, I imagine, Correct. are magical. Yeah. His okay. outer components, not so much. Loyal, you're up. So we get to carry a bucket of bolts up. Okay, so Loyal is kind of uh, feeling a bit desperate. He's going to take... He is going to go back a little bit more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Still in range, but he's just going to retreat a little bit more because the thing good is, idea. <laughs> is vicious. Absolutely vicious. Mm -hmm. And he's going to shoot another arrow at it. Okay. Because he needs to kill it. Actually, be before it's too late past my turn, could I have shielded that attack? <laughs> it's a reaction to cast shield and he just barely hit me and you wouldn't would it have made it yeah yeah, yeah. all right yeah point. right now you need all the help you can get so yes <laughs> you're safe <laughs> okay okay that's good all right anyway uh loyal's gonna do the the archery okay Yeah, yep. that hits. Woo. Go ahead, roll your and... hunter's mark. Duly noted. When I level and then, up, like, it's I like am a two. Spider it's a climb. one. Ah. <laughs> you can't get both the hunter's mark and the uh, the uh, damage for some reason. It's just not. <laughs> you need both. Yeah. You need both at this point. All right, so thirteen. Still kicking. Uh. Still kicking. Ouch. <laughs> I think I'm the only one that has dealt damage to the. All life. right. Was, yeah. The uh, I'm the only one who can't automatically <laughs> die. The the uh, black corroding stuff is going to attack you, screw, because it again the movie detects the metal. <laughs> well, d he doesn't oh. know the metal. Yeah. But it's until the end of my turn, so. And oh, you're well. down. And I'm down again. <laughs> yeah. These okay. things can't see, can they? No. No. <laughs> Back down I go again. Crap. They're... I was going to use my necrotic shroud to make them afraid of me, but that doesn't work. Nope. <laughs> you could grappling hook us out, of, out to safety. Just be like, aha, now chase the bait. <laughs> uh, uh, that's not a great idea. And Who's it's... getting a beating of his lifetime? He's just going to stay right there. He... But it's not you guys, so that's perfectly he, fine. He yes. senses metal. Shane, you're up. <laughs> I'm I have no dessert. ranged attack. Oh no! <laughs> None. <laughs> I can throw my dagger and have it gone. Yeah. And I only have much. one. Yeah, pretty much. So the best it's I terrible. can hope for is go heal Ravona and hope she manages to escape. There is a potion still on screw. Because yeah. he, he carried a potion to stick on, on you people. Yeah, I have my Rachel though. Oh. So. Drink my blood! Yes! Drink my blood! Take oh, your medicine! <laughs> you get three hit points as I shove my bleeding hand down your throat. Uh, okay. Drink my blood. You come to Drink life and taste a little bit of iron in your throat. Yeah. It's probably a nice change over the years. Hey, hey, no, days. yeah, I, I was about to say it tastes <laughs> nicer than the use. <laughs> you are now up. Let's well, just say you shouldn't have this for meals every day. <laughs> Shane tastes like Kool Aid. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Get out of here, girl. <laughs> Do you have any movement left, Shane? Nope. That's uh, all, all right, movement. that was the whole thing. All right. Screw yep. death save. <laughs> I sit here melting again. That's oh, a success. <laughs> Not melting yet. Not melting yet. I'm working on it. Uh, <laughs> Ravona, <laughs> you're alive. I, so get out I, of there. I get up 
uh, with half my movement, mm -hmm. realize where I am, and mm -hmm. I go, this is not a good place to be. No. Um, I look over at uh, Screw, and I am, oh yeah, no, shit, He's, I can't <laughs> cue, I can't cue, um, nope. nope. You guys have bigger things on your hands at the moment. Yeah. Much no, bigger what things. I'm, what I'm gonna do <laughs> is I'm gonna. Oh wow! Yeah. Four. Cool. <laughs> yep. Yeah. No, that's good. <laughs> so you have seven hit points. I have seven hit points now. Right. And as a as a bonus action, I'm gonna turn invisible and try to get out at least a little bit. So. Uh, I know he can still take an attack of opportunity, but yeah. with disadvantage. I will do it. Yeah, disadvantage. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. All right. So you try Wait, to get away. Wait, does it have tremor sense? Uh, no, it has uh, actually blind sense. Blind sight. Oh, okay. Yeah, that. Uh, is that? Nah, that doesn't hit. Okay, you're good. Whew! Okay, so Ooh, I am um, twenty invisi acid damage. Ugh. <laughs> God. This thing is scary. <laughs> this thing is very, very scary. All right, so Ravoni, you Indeed. escape uh, <laughs> invisibly. Nino, what are you doing? Mm. Nino's going to throw a rock at the smaller ooze. Okay. Uh, does he need to move forward for that? No, it's going to be a disadvantage, disadvantage, but Nino doesn't, doesn't want to get out, out of the... <laughs> Safe spot uh, yeah, of the rock. So, there's a rock attack. 12. 12 does hit. Yeah, they have low AC, so yeah. that's why. You I'm don't. Not ma he doesn't manage to kill it, though. It's still blurbling just a bit. Blurbling. Blurbling. All right, on its turn, it senses metal. Nom 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 nom. Oh, gonna eat screw? Yeah. No! Yeah. That's automatic one death save because it punched me? Or am I getting both of them eating me? Right now, it's just that one. Okay. So yeah, that, one. that is an automatic death fail. Alright. So Wait, doesn't that. it have to, to uh, beat his AC anyway? Uh, up to him. It, it no, does. No, it needs it does, to... but it probably yeah, will. It does I need mean, to make the advantage. attack. It, it, oh, okay. it gets advantage because he's on the ground, too. So, yeah. roll it again. Yeah, it, it hits him. Oh, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, There's so that's one. That's one, one fail. One. Yep. Well, you're up. You see that the ooze is now focused on eating the metal that was screw. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so... uh. Loyal is gonna change targets for, uh, he's gonna yeah he's gonna okay. even hunt, change hunter's mark with the bonus action to this okay. guy. I'll switch it over. Or does it only change? Uh, is it I only possible? Change... To... You'd have to recast it. Basically. You can only change it if it's dead. Yeah. Oh, okay, in that case, I'm not gonna change it. Yeah, you'd have to. Yeah, you'd have to recast it. Okay. No, I'm not gonna change it then. Okay. I'm just gonna shoot the 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 gray ooze. Okay. With uh, the longbow. Okay. So it stops eating my friend. Yeah, you, f you finished it off. Like, the last arrow kind of slices through what little bubble blurb is left, and it's it's down. All right. Yeah. Also, be right back. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Oh, screw. Oh, screw. Uh, I'm getting numbed again. I'm so sorry, screw. This uh, no, is no. what I, I've, I've been a, do. <laughs> to be fair, I've been immune to handfuls of other things, so I'm just being numbed. Yeah, nom, nom, nom. yeah, 22 oh. definitely hits, so you get a second death yep. saving throw. So yep. Fail. Yep. Thank God for advantage, otherwise I might be scared. All right. Uh, Shane, you're up. I think I have to risk my weapon. Okay. Ooh, like, taste, I, taste metal. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be hurt. To be fair, Screw could easily make you another one. Yeah. So I, I guess I'm gonna run up and try and hack this thing to pieces. 
Okay! <laughs> Hope it's weak to radiant damage. Oh. Nope! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> I will spare you the crit fail this time. Um, But yeah, you, you hit, you kind of like brush over the surface. It's kind of amorphous, so... Yeah. Technically, the crit fail would be beneficial because if you just fling a clangy bit of metal off into the distance, it might chase that. Uh, I think it likes the larger source of metal. <laughs> <laughs> just a thought. <laughs> All right, screw <laughs> death, save. death save. Here I come. No. Hey! Makes it that much worse. This is so tense. All right. <laughs> two and two. Two and two. It's dead even. Revolta, what are you doing? All right. Um. Wow. Well, first, first things first. I'm going to. Um. You're not invisible of... anymore, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to moonbeam this bitch. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm cast casting it about here so that it doesn't hit screw and shine. Okay. Um, yeah, Ooh. it's when he when he starts his turn, so Ooh. yeah. And well, no, the then... first casting just gives him damage. Oh, does it? Okay. Ooh, very nice. Okay, so it takes the damage at the start of its turn. Yeah, I think so. It... Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then I'm gonna turn into a papa bear. Mama bear, in my case. All right. Bear token. Get your bear token, bear token out. Mama bear. Definitely a little uh, more sturdy there. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move over and like, kind of. Little bit in between Shane and and Screw and growl at it a lot and try to get its attention <laughs> away from Screw. Okay, <clears throat> Nino. <laughs> Nino uh, is glad that the gray ooze is dead and that rocks on the big one. Okay. So have at the fiend. Yeah, that hits. Have a rock. All right. You throw another Rocking rock into hits. it. Uh, it's still looking fine. <laughs> Those are dead. Loyal. How about the... Okay. So, arrow to the ooze. Okay. Yeah, I know. I've, I've got a... Okay. That hits. That hits. All right, for another Hunter's 10 mark. plus five, so another 15 damage. Uh, I'm nothing if not consistent. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, that's, that's amazing. This, these things are not not light. Uh, nope. Not light at all. Okay, so 15 <laughs> damage. Well, now we know the power of the ooze. It's starting to, the form of it is starting to get a little bit less organized. You're starting to see pieces of it kind of loop apart. And it's its turn. So, in a last felt bit of effort, screw, I'm sorry, it's going to attack you. Nom, 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 nom. I'm wearing shiny metal, though. <laughs> yeah, she's wearing metal. I'm also and shiny. attacking him. <laughs> if it's a creature of instincts, it might be like, oh god, I'm being chopped to bits. It has an intelligence of one. <laughs> okay, then there we go. Yeah, maybe not then. <laughs> Doesn't it take the moonbeam? Or did it already? It, do it does oh, yeah. take moonbeam damage. It does take yeah, moonbeam damage. Yeah, it's at the start of his turn. Yeah. Looking pretty well, the rough. The 11, 11 misses. 11 does miss, but it has advantage. Yeah. Ooh, Lord. 
Hey! <laughs> oh my god, stop shouting, what's happening? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh my gosh. Screw didn't die. Screw. It missed yeah. me. Yeah, it missed the dead oh, guy. Oh god, <laughs> I am so glad. Oh wow. Oh, oh wow. Missed the unconscious dude. I'm, I'm past unconscious at this point. For some reason, your metals resisted the uh, <laughs> the, the, the corrosive power and it eh. didn't take you down. It's wow. Determination. Wow. He has determination. Am... Okay, now I need to do con save. Oh. <laughs> fail, 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 fail. What are we fail, making a con fail. save for? It's part no, of no. Moonbeam. Oh. oh, DC 13. 13. Fail, 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 fail. Yes, fail. Failed. Failed. Seventeen radiant damage. On addition to what it already had on there. No, no he we'll... takes seventeen radiant. He takes seventeen. Oh well, yeah, I already took it off, so I oh. just figured it was automatic. But... No, 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 no. Okay. At so... the start, at the start yeah. of his turn, if he's standing in it or if he walks into it. Okay, yeah. So he's so still in it. If you've already if you've already deducted the damage, it's fine. Yeah, I've already deducted that. All right. Would it technically be a shape changer? Is he a shape changer? No. It's an ooze. Technically, it doesn't really have a shape. I don't yeah. think it's a shape. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that's a specific thing. Uh, no, um, it's if it funny. has the feature shape changer. Shane, oh, okay. it's looking rough. What are you doing? Uh. Gonna attempt to carve it to pieces with uh, uh Mr. Sword. Yes! Hey! Right, and right, I got right. two rights for a grand okay. total of 19 damage. That's good. That's good. Woo. That's awesome. Yeah, so that's how much damage? Uh, 19. 19. How do you kill the ooze? Yes! Yeah! Uh,. By dissecting it into tiny pieces. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I just totally pictured you like sectioning it off pieces and then like golf swinging it off into the distance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So with the I'm chopping into motion, small balls and just whamming him, and you know, he just starts like chopping the ooze up, and just pieces of it just go everywhere. It is just all over the place, but. One it's of the pieces falls onto screw and, and just corrodes the last of him and he dies. Yeah, finishes the last <laughs> one. <laughs> However, your sword is now a minus one sword. Yeah. Okay. So It is only minus one to damage, though, correct? Correct. Yeah. 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 As opposed to your minus four, uh, minus three or four to screw. Yeah. Screw is now a minus four. We're going to need to build him a new body. As soon as, uh... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, uh, I'm just totally picturing a naked roar, Warforged running away, like, ah! So, as, as soon as the uh, big ooze dies down, Nino's gonna rush, and he's gonna give Shane a hug. Just run through Does he go through the, uh, through the uh, ooze? Because <laughs> the ooze's corpse is acidic. He's gonna jump. He, he's okay. basically just gonna jump over the ooze. All right. And give Shane yeah. a big hug. Okay. Rabona bear goes and rubs on on screw. Oh, it. Uh, do I take acid damage from the corrosive form? Uh, no. Because I hit it with a melee attack. Ah. it's the ooh, yeah. I guess you do. Yeah. <laughs> but you're you're like full ish. Yeah, I'm <laughs> full ish. I'm at fifteen. <laughs> Quick, well, somebody gonna... <laughs> Somebody well, lift gonna... up the potion. It's probably broken on my body by this point. <laughs> well, I was gonna approach Screw and he's gonna uh, be like, Does anyone know how to use his repair kit? <laughs> I do have... <laughs> I do have my toolbox sitting next to me. Screw. One more. Oh, unless I... I do make my final death save. Can't we... Can't we attempt to stabilize him now that... Combat is over. Not really, but you guys could technically drag him up, and if you could find somebody to revive him, I guess. No, no, stabilize him so he doesn't have to yeah. roll the death save. Yes, exactly. How are up you going to gonna stabilize him? Well, no, because the thing is, 
I attacked, and then it's his turn, so he would have oh, to make the death yeah, saving throw. Yes. Yeah, he does. Mm. But he does do it with advantage, uh, and he yeah, does true. succeed, so he is stable. You don't stay able. I don't, I don't think that puts me at one, does it? I'm no, just, no, no. You wake up in four hours. <laughs> okay. Yep. I'm good with that. <laughs> I do have my toolbox, which would be really hilarious if you guys all just pulled out screws, tools, and be like, I don't know what any of this looks like. So, <laughs> you guys finish clearing off what's left of the, the, the corrosive, disgusting oozes that came out of the Mike and Nid uh, watering hole, and you see to yourself that it may take some sort of natural magic to kind of heal this disgusted stream. And with that, we're going to take a 10 minute break and come back. <laughs> Thank you, Doke. Oh, God. Okay, I yeah, Rabona, 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 normal form and just like slump down next to screw and go, oh, that hurt. <laughs> If you have enjoyed the uh, the uh, session today, you can go on to our YouTube channel and watch all the previous sessions. Um, it goes look just look up Twilight's Dawn D and D. We'll be back in just a few moments.
There's no way we can heal you, so we have to carry the hunk of metal. Okay. Well, assuming I get up in four hours, I can repair <clears throat> myself. We're back. Hey. Wow. That was impressive. That that was uh, that was crazy. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Whew. All right. So <clears throat> the party just finished vanquishing a pool full of uh, unnatural oozes. Uh, you guys have those oozes and splatters around you. Plus, you have two uh, very knocked out myconids. Yep. Uh, so, uh, Ravona, give me a uh, nature check. Okay. Can Loyal get one too? No, just Ravona for this one. Okay. okay. Uh, you feel uh, the pool and you sense that. Um, over time, um, the, the, the corruption may start to filter out. Um, you do sense that there needs to be, uh, that the, of course, the, the sludge is source. It's how it's getting into the pool needs to be sealed off. Um, but other than that, uh, if that's taken care of, that over time that this pool will kind of naturally filter itself out and heal itself. Okay, so we need to find the, the source and seal it. Um, but first... Yeah. Screw! We need to fix you somehow. Or at least fix you up a little bit. S Screw's taking a nap. <laughs> yes. As yep. far as you oh, know. Okay, can I can I then have a look at the my 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 myconites? The myconites? Yeah, the myconites. Myconites. There we go. Um, myconites. Yeah, sure. I uh, do a medicine check. Oh yeah, no. Um, they don't. They don't look any better. Um, okay. They still look deformed and kind of dull in color, and they don't look any better. Um. Lyle's gonna go up to I... No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Lyle. Uh, he's gonna say, "So, do you know like lesser restoration or something like that?" I do. I was I was just about to ask Will, <clears throat> do they <clears throat> would this be something le lesser restoration could help with as a form of like from your purge from, from your poison from your something. medicine check you don't know. Hmm. Yeah, uh, Ravona says to Loyal, I have it prepared, but I am not sure if it's going to help. Do you have what? any idea? I have no idea what this guy is made out of. I don't know. I only know how to cure wounds. Barely. Uh, and I don't really want to wake them up. Lest they attack us again. It's not going to hurt, is it? Maybe we That's should. That's why I thought about it. Like, yeah, you know what? <coughs> oh, God. Uh, I thought, oh, God, we're leveling up. <clears throat> oh, shoot, that's a lot what? of... What? That's a lot of XP. Yep. That is a lot of XP. Is that, is that actually the XP for this encounter? The Corrupted oh. Black Pudding was a level f uh, CR4 creature. Oh, uh, On shoot. top of all of the uh, oozes that were part of the... So this was a lethal encounter. Yeah, this was like an, a hyper-lethal encounter. <laughs> this is a little bit CR4 of... CR4 yeah. plus, uh, let's see... Uh, gray use is half CR, so it's CR6. Myconoid is how much CR? Yeah, it was well, over uh, her heart. It was actually, yeah, you're I deadly. I think 2300 is considered deadly. Yeah, you're, you're deadly encounters at 2000, so. Uh, yeah, like that. Yeah. Wow, did you actually want to kill us? <laughs> no. Well, you almost did. Congratulations. Um, <laughs> no, it was supposed to came in waves. You got rid of some of them. 
I didn't realize how bad the pudding was until it started attacking. <laughs> um, to yeah, be fair, right. like was... one shot most of us. Yeah. There was no way he, he could have predicted two crits right off the bat. Mm. There's no yeah. way. Yeah, that, yeah, that's true. I figured they were slow enough that you guys could maneuver around them. Like, but I don't know. No, it's good. It's good. I like mm. I like it difficult. Right. Yeah, Rabona is just going to go like, hmm. I'm just going to try. I want to help them. So, yeah. We should take it to the... It. Mm. I'll try. I'll try to to perch the like yeah. uh, sludge poison out right. of the uh, mic mica 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 the mic in it yes so I will I will be able to pronounce it some someday um mic oh mic Mike and Ike. <laughs> yes, that. <laughs> Mike and Ike. So you get your hands, you feel the energy, natural healing, you touch the, uh, the Mike and it, and you feel like it's having some effect. Um, some of the, 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 the tainted feeling kind of gets pushed back, and you start to feel like the creature is being restored to some sort of wholeness. Awesome. Now I just need a long rest so I can do it for the other one. <laughs> Um, well, Ravona, we should probably take, uh, guys to the, the Myconid, uh, 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 well, village. Well, uh, let's, well, the thing is, um, I'm not sure if we should take them back to the village just yet, because this, the sludge is poison to the Myconids. Um, well, well, I'm, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm but... sure... I'm sure yeah. we should let's let's keep let's keep them here for now. I can or someone can go back to report what happened, but and I turn to the others. We still need to find where the sludge is coming from and seal that. <laughs> well, it's very yeah. obvious where the, the sludge is coming from. There, I mean, like there, it, you just need to find a way to make sure that this particular cavern is not getting the the drips. Because it's coming oh, okay. through like small little rivers in the top of the of the ceiling. Do you okay. uh, the ceiling? Do you know mending? Uh, <laughs> I mend the ceiling. No, I okay. don't. Okay. Quick question: Does uh, the black pudding acid crap eat through glass? Do you have any glass to throw in it? <clears throat> Yeah, I want to fill in a couple of vials of it. Okay, go ahead. Screw, screw had the healing potion. Go ahead and do your alchemy check. <clears throat> All right. I'm gonna keep that the is not my character sheet. That is my character sheet. Okay. Hell yeah! You're able to easily scoop it up, and you wait a second, wait and see if it breaks through the glass. Nope. I'm grabbing myself five vials of extremely potent acid. All right. Woo! You take your time and you get you some extremely potent acid. Screw's just gonna panic in the background. Oh. Yeah. Um, You're still unconscious, friend. I, I know. <laughs> but you turn in into Batman, you'll be like, I know how to beat all of you. <laughs> yeah, um, this is my version of the OMAC project. Can I. Um... Wait, how how long is it from here to back to the uh, Myconet uh, encampment? It took about 10-15 minutes to get here. Um. Okay. Um. I'll I'll go back to uh, the Myconet encampment and tell them what's happened here. Maybe they can send some people over or some mushrooms over to help with their two mushrooms are people yes. too <laughs> yeah <laughs> mushrooms are people too yes um no discrimination no so maybe maybe they can send some people over to help carry their wounded friends okay so, and also to seal the thing because yes. okay uh we have no way okay. also we've dealt with the danger so yeah. it can probably come all right so ravona you're just gonna go back yourself uh I am a little, I am a little bit wobbly on my legs, so I don't know. Loyal, come with me, please. Okay, okay I'll help you. Yay. 
Say so loyal Ravona, you guys go back to the camp. As you approach, you feel that familiar sense of of energy, and 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 you hear um, the the sun. The, the oh, what did I call you? Sunwalkers have returned. We must take them to the the sovereign. And several of them come up and say, "Follow us to the sovereign." And they begin to move off we towards will. the sovereign. Ramona limps a little bit. <laughs> so you guys are taken back into the presence of the sovereign, and then you feel that ancient presence again. And he says, "Have you, have you purified the pool of our water?" We we have managed to get rid of uh, an entity that seemed to have poisoned the pool. Um, they are uh, uh, the sludge. The liquid abyss the, has been destroyed. Liquid. Yes, this is correct. Yes, mm. it has. The ooze mm. creature that resided inside the the sludge has been destroyed. Yet the sludge still remains, for it needs to be purified with magic, and we, we don't have enough. We magic need, to do. we need, we need a way to seal the cracks in the stone where uh, the, Our the sludge is can coming. Handle that. We needed you to destroy the threat. Yes. Also, uh, Sovereign, we found two myconids who were affected by. Um, by the sludge they attacked us we had to defend ourselves but we only knocked them unconscious i managed to heal one of them from the sludge but i'm afraid i have no more magic in me to help the other one i i Our hope healers we can help will them. also deal with those who have been afflicted that is good to hear i am glad they will make a recovery please bring your party back I would like to reward them personally. Well, our, that friend, is well. our friend's crew loose from be able to receive the reward. He's kind of out of commission for now. I totally just pictured Nino like picking up Screw's arm and waiting <laughs> and, you, <laughs> and you feel like this sense of sadness and of loss kind of come over you as the as the as the creature goes, I am sorry. For your friend's pain. He's not dead. He's a robot. Yeah. I, 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 that, that's he what doesn't I'm know that. About. <laughs> I was going to say, does the shroom know? Otherwise, I'm just like the guy yeah. from Full Metal Alchemist. Know. I'm just a walking suit of armor. <laughs> oh, oh, do not worry, Sovereign. He is still alive. Wait. Yet unconscious. He has received a lot of damage. Screw can't talk to them because he doesn't have lungs. Correct. No, Scro- you, said, you said it was telepathy, but I, I didn't say anything. Yeah. But it, but it, it's like a Groot. He speaks through spores. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I am Groot. <laughs> yes. He. Uh, okay. The sovereign. Holy there's crap. relief that comes to the sovereign, and you you feel it. It's like, that is good news. <laughs> Please we, we... return with your party, and I will reward you accordingly. Of course, sovereign. Right. Do we have? Do we have? We sorry, out of character. Do we have any means of carrying Screw back at all? I, you can just drag yeah, him. you guys. Shane's can, back. Yeah, you guys can okay. go somehow drag it, drag him back. <laughs> he, he's already damaged to crazy points. Dragging him like three miles ain't gonna bother him any more than it already is. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. Um. All right. Okay. Shane just picks him up. <laughs> I, do, I do weigh 300 pounds, so you okay, might Okay, so you guys go back, me. tell the others, and then come back uh, to the Sovereign. And the Sovereign senses you're all in the room and says, Thank you so much for helping my people. It was my duty. Was I am a pleasure. happy to be, ha- to be helping. We pleasure were caught duty. unaware by the creatures. At first, it was just the black substance. But then... Then the creatures came from the substance, changed, even our own became deranged, confused. 
we could not we can help them with some of the rare fungi that we reagents that we have but we were running out and it was only a matter of time we will try to find our brothers who are in the tunnels wandering and bring them back now that you have cleansed the pool and you feel a, a bit of gratitude come from the sovereign and and all the other mycanids that are around you <clears throat> and he says i will heal you and give you rest one more time oh Un yay unfortunately i cannot help your friend he is yes. beyond our magics so he give, he brings out the same orb and then he puts it at you and then he uh he, oh, like it's all giggity. You Yay! feel that okay. whole sense of, of full of life and energy and you guys once again um you guys are another benefit of a long rest and we level up <laughs> and no, i don't think we level up you you Star have to Wars. actually sit down to level up but like then he says yeah. on behalf of our pe my people i bestow you this orb and he gives Magic. you what Magic is what is called the spore of enlightenment. Oh, I Once want that. Once per day, you may use the spore of enlightenment to sense the intentions of those around you without needing to use a spell. There's no saving throw for the target. This also allows you to communicate telepathically with other beings for one minute within 30 feet. Since this effect has been used, it cannot be used again until a long rest. The Spore of Enlightenment has regenerative properties. Once a week, it can be used to get the benefits of a long rest without taking a long rest. This ability recharges Whoa. on a d20 roll of 18 to 20, which is made every day until it recharges once a week has passed it between uses. Players must nice. still eat and drink as normal. As one more bonus, the Spore of Enlightenment allows you to free passage to any Mykonid settlement, and Mykonids always consider you a friend unless you act against them. Oh, yay. Oh, this is awesome. Aww. Out of curiosity. Oh, no, never mind then. So the Myconid Sovereign hands you this 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 orb, this glowing uh, orb that has vines all around and says, please oh. guard it carefully. It is very special to our people. We will. I will guard it with my life if I have to. It is a very special gift, and I try to project, like, feelings of gratitude and friendship and everything, like, yeah. He, they, <coughs> you can On feel him. On top of that kid in the candy store feeling. Like. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. So you feel the, the acknowledgement, he says, beyond our village is the reagents that you requested. One of ours will follow you and lead you through the through the harmful spores you will be able to get the reagents without having to worry about the harmful effects you must understand we have to guard these reagents of lest course. people take them from us creatures tend to roam these caves may eat them unnecessarily we needed them to survive i totally forgot what herbs we were here for anyway it, it's an un, it's an unnamed or herb, and like we haven't even really named the herb. So um, we're just here for mystery plants. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, do we get like achievement? Achievement unlocked. Friends of the fungi. <laughs> <laughs> Friend of the fungi. Um, yeah. yeah. That's the episode name right there. Friends yeah. of fungi. There you go. Well, it's a spoiler because technically yeah, it's a spoiler no title. Oh man, but I'm thinking if we had like been aggressive towards the Myconids, uh, the spores would have totally wrecked us on the way to the herbs. Oh, most you, definitely. You get that idea, perhaps, yes. <laughs> but now we are friends to fungi. Yay! So uh, the, the Sovereign says, thank you. You are always welcome among us. We will lead you to your what you are looking for. Thank you very much. Go in peace. And then you fill the consciousness back up and the other uh, Mycadids jump, uh, not jump, but move forward and say, we will take you to your 
reagents. Yep. Okay. So you guys follow? Yeah. Okay. Um, screw Skillet's still unconscious? Yes. Yeah. Still unconscious. Yeah. Yeah. We, we can leave Screw here. Yeah, yeah. we'll leave Screw right, here. You, yeah, you leave Screw on the ground while you guys go and follow the Myconids. And you see, as you go and follow these Myconids, a little bit past the, the Fungi Village, there is indeed, like, this field full of colorful mushrooms that exude all sorts of gases and spores and Ooh, it would have been terrible for you to try to navigate this on your own. A screw um, could have walked through and been like, I don't breathe any of this crap. <laughs> it's not all breathing. Um, and that's <laughs> when the GM invents the acidic spores. Yeah, I, They're not all I've, breathing. I've been, They're not all breathing. I've had my fair share of immunity, so the ooze fight was just like, well, I deserve this. <laughs> so... You guys walk, uh, follow the mic and it through the path. He leads you, or or it leads you around through uh, all of the, the fungi. So finally you get to this place where Ravoni, you realize these are the reagents that I have been looking for. And there's not a lot of them. You notice they have been heavily pared down because the mic and have been fighting the corruption. So how many do you take? Well... How again? How how much is there? And again, uh, uh, for what for? Oh, I don't yeah, know. Well, what was that? what was it that we were actually doing with these? Yeah, I don't I don't remember. I remember no, just we, potion we crafting, but any yeah. specific? Yeah, special special uh, herbs for potion <coughs> crafting. I remember that. Yeah, that's what you said. <laughs> I assume you knew what potion you were trying to make. Yeah. <laughs> so, the herbalists are the people who need this kind of stuff. Yeah. I need animal beds. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so an alchemist. yeah. So me and well, uh, Ravona can use these to make potions that herbalism can make. So probably health potions. Yeah, health potions yeah. and other and other beneficial like regenerative potions and stuff. Yeah, sure. Anyways, um, well, the thing the thing is, I I I want to. Ravona would only take as much as. As uh, sh she's comfortable with taking from the myconids in their current okay. situation, they'll they'll, let, they'll let... probably they'll probably still need some to treat their um, afflicted people. So it's just like, a, hey, a um, uh, can I make a check to see how many uh, to make a single um, potion? Why don't we ask the uh, mushroom person with us how much they're willing to give? <laughs> or that. <laughs> Uh, the the mic in it says we request that you leave enough for us but we are not sure how much we need to heal all of our brethren all right so can i can i try to figure out how yeah. much okay can I yeah help him? go ahead and let's do, let's butt let's butt heads do a nature check uh, okay so i have a plus four in herbalism yeah what do you herbalism. have I have a plus five. Okay, <laughs> so another idea. I'll, I'll do the help action so you can roll with advantage. Okay. Okay, Wait. guys, here's another idea. We only take a very little bit, and we ask them if we can come back once the once, once they've out. treated all their people. So from this, you deduce that to get the kind of for the kind of potions that you wanted, you'd have to take probably about half of what is there. Oh wow. Well. Um, I say we ask them if we can come back after we've treated them, uh, or after they've treated everyone. Well, they did. Uh, the spore of the spore of what's it called? Enlightenment uh, did say that it it gives us passage to the Mycnet yeah. encampment. Also, these guys just said, "Hey, you guys are cool. We're friends now." Basically, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, I'll I'll I'll. You are right. Go with uh, Shane's idea. Yeah, I'll turn. I'll turn to the Mykonids and say, um, for the kind of uh, potion I would like to brew, I would need half of your reagents. However, uh, your sovereign has granted us passage to your encampment. Do you think if we came back at a later time after you've treated your 
your uh, friends. Could we take uh, some of what's left then? This would be easier for you, wouldn't it? If the Sovereign has granted you passage, you are welcome always amongst the Mykonids. However, these particular reagents are slow growing. We will use them to help our brothers, but they will take um, at least um, <laughs> they will take at least one month's time to regrow. I can I can wait. You are my friends now. And my friends are more important to me than some potion. Please heal your friends, and I will come back later. It would, it would be rude of us to take something that could have saved the lives of one of your people. Exactly. We appreciate your generosity. I will lead you back to the village. And it starts to walk back through the maze of fungi, and eventually you guys return to the village where the Myconids regard you warmly, but go about their daily lives. They're no longer regarding you with much energy or interest. Um, so, yeah. The mushroom children have just drawn mushrooms all over Screw now. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah there's mushrooms all over Screw. Um, so, Screw's there. Uh, you have the choice of um, going back up. Uh, you'll have to climb up. Uh, the face, or you could try to go the other path, which uh, they said led to the strange doorway. Um, but other were than we that, told not to go to the strange doorway. We were told not to go to the strange doorway. I'm I bet we well, don't go to the strange doorway. We go. He's let's, us let's, that option. Just, let's just not go to the strange doorway. Yeah, let's just go, make our way back. Uh, say hello to De Des. De uh, what's her name? The priest. Depressay. Depressay. Mm -hmm. Say hello to Depressay, say goodbye to Depressay, and just head home. Okay. So you guys decide to go back. So you guys ascend uh, the mountain. Um, yeah, I will use my wild shapes to, Help. if we have to climb, yeah, yeah I can I can carry um, Screw while he's unconscious. I was going to say, it depends on how, lo how long you're gathering your bits to yeah as because i can't carry all my crap and screw yeah it takes yeah we could use the block and tackle to pull him up. <laughs> oh that is true yeah <laughs> yeah yeah no can. i mean i can no i can i can turn into my ape thing again yeah. and just if you if, if you well, tie you... screw to me i'll carry him okay this is okay hilarious. so you guys climb back up uh, to the top of the mountain uh there's only one path you haven't gone to and that's to the right of you now. Um, oh, and we're not. I say we, we stay left. where we this stay where we know and we leave now. Left is the Cyclops. The front way is back towards the burrow. Let's go back to the burrow. Yeah. Just all, right. all that blood that we're covered in, we just go no around the Cyclops. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys descend. Are, are, are we in agreement that we're all leaving now? Yes, we are. So you guys okay. descend back down uh, the side of the mountain. Eventually, you get to the burrow. The burrow is open, but Depressé is not present. Her... Well, she's probably... I'm, I'm going to leave a note, say thank you, Depressé, for letting us through. You're the best. Uh, we made friends with the Myconids. Okay. So you guys... If you ever find your way to the refuse, come to Hope Hovel. You will be welcome. Okay. So you guys travel back to the cult sacrifice altar. There's the the path that leads out of the caves and the path that leads to what is the book room. Let's go out the caves. Out of the caves. All out right. Caves. So you just travel out the rest of the way, and eventually you emerge out into uh, the caves. <laughs> Give me. Screw just randomly finds a diamond when he wakes up. Oh, it would be so Yay. good if he was white rewarded with a diamond. All right, so when you get out, give me guys, give me a perception check as you leave the caves. Okay, I'm, group I'm, perception. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm gonna use Nino too. Nope. Since this is this is important, probably. I'm, Let's roll I'm for Nino. Just so I don't roll. Okay, 
from mm, the uh, from the amount of light that you could see coming through the top, it's it's evening. It's it's sorry. It's what evening? It's evening. It's it's okay. night. The funeral was at what like uh, eleven? Early 11 evening. And oh, we missed the funeral. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh well. No, well, we wasn't. Still go... I I thought the funeral was late night. It, it the funeral was around uh, eight o'clock, give or take. You don't know what time it is. You're out in the middle uh, of nowhere. Wh wh we don't what have a watch. The, what was the time you said? Screw attempts to build a watch. I didn't say there was a time. I just saw that there was, it was dark. Oh okay. That's what yeah. you you uh, can tell by the light. Well, okay, let's, no, let's, I wanted let's go. to know what was the time the funeral eight o'clock was. Eight o'clock. Okay. Well, it could. It 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 could. It, it is dark already by eight o'clock. So if let's just make our way over and see what's up. And if we're too late, then yeah. yeah and let's, we let's plug drag along this hunk broken of screw. And... All right. So <laughs> it'll be obvious why we're late. <laughs> yes. So you guys make your way toward where the funeral is supposed to be, uh, which is the Elyon rescue mission, and so. As you walk up, you see that you don't see anybody, and that there uh, there seems to be a note taped on the door. Okay, what does it say? Uh, as you look at the note, it says, uh, due to illness of Shepherdess Valina, Murdoch funeral for Benson Murdoch will be held tomorrow at noon. Oh, that's good. Oh, so we didn't even have to come back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to the caves, everyone. <laughs> can we please, can we please go to Hope Hubble and rest and level up? Yes. Right, yes. So let's, I was let's get back home. All right. So yeah. you guys return to your Hope Hubble, where you are Shane's able. Just sitting there flexing as he drags me around. You're able to, yep. to, to, to level like... up at this point. Screw. You come to consciousness inside Bench Hope person. Hobble. Not Shit. quite sure how you got there. <laughs> this is a new one. <laughs> oh. And Shane's now got goodness. just like massive muscles. He gets Hurry. a plus one to his strength from lifting. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just bench um... pressing screw. <laughs> I climbed a mountain carrying your 300 pound ass. Uh, Shane. Yeah, I helped. I helped. Hey guys, give me a perception check as you approach your hobble. Okay. We did lock it before we left. <laughs> um, I'm I'm busy print pressing. Ah, let me let me roll for Nino Straight too. Up. Nino deserves to roll. Okay. Oh. So Ravona and uh, well Nino, but like uh, you got they noticed that there is a note attached to your mailbox. Oh. We have a mailbox. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Nino, it really surprises me. Nino's neck is the note and just waves it around. <laughs> give it, give it, give it, give it to loyal, Nino. Come on, read it. Okay. Oh well, actually, uh, yeah, Nino, Sh or, or Shane, loyal or Shane doesn't matter. Nino, I'm, I'm busy bench pressing screw. Okay. Yeah, Shane's loyal. bench press. Okay. So, so... Uh, loyal is completely distracted for some reason, so Nino just uh, kind of it. punches him in the back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And she's like, ouch, Nino, what the hell? And then Nino just waves the paper around. <laughs> and Nino right. just snatches it, and he he reads it. Okay, it says, Sorry you missed me. Thank you for stopping by, Depressé. Oh! Man, she's fast. Man, she's wow. fast. Wow, she got fast. here before us. <laughs> Good thing we left a note. Does it say XO Shane? <laughs> <laughs> the handwriting is a little softer than normal. No, I don't. Yeah, it isn't. Oh, God. So you guys get back to the hovel, take a load off, and realize that you have gone in it, on an expedition into the Endless Caves, and you've come back out alive. Halfway oh, alive. Eh. So and despite not getting what we got, we went there for. We still got a lot of loot. And you did miss the funeral, which is now rescheduled 
for tomorrow and you at least have a chance to take a breath, refocus, and that's where we're going to end the session for the evening. Yay! Wow, that was why, an appropriate why, dog. Why, right? do I, why do I have the feeling that Will especially rescheduled the funeral for us because we were so smart? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. So, um, yeah, so uh, thank you guys uh, on YouTube for watching. Uh, thank you so much for continuing to watch. If you want to see uh, earlier episodes, just uh, check out the links underneath. And we'll see you guys next week. Way! Finally, the funeral! Bye! Bye bye! <laughs>